the cardboard kingdom. So let's get started. The blob. Professor everything. But, but, but there's no way. You can't super punch a dragon at the speed of light. Physics won't allow it. It's called imagination. And until you can learn to use yours, you can't play with us. Making your favorite champ pineapple barbecue sandwiches. I'm not hungry. Not hungry? What's wrong? Nothing. When you're not hungry for your favorite, something is very wrong. I can't make any friends in this dumb neighborhood. At the at light of speed, at light speed, your intent will turn into jello. Respect, silence, and if you can try to correct that, that just sigh, huh? Tip one: smile. Hi, I'm. Do you want to play? Sure. I just. I just finished kicking her butt with Veronica. That's what I call my sword. No, Veronica was frozen by my ice spell. Oh, please, you missed with that one. I never miss. Well, Veronica is enchanted anyway, so they're not enchanted. Not even a word. Oh, maybe a word. Couldn't even never. Uh, what's wrong with your face, kid? It hurts. Tip two: Ask someone about their day. Um, excuse me. Hello? Huh? Hi, I'm Professor Everything. What? Or、uh, you can call me Egon. That's a stupid name. Oh, haha. How are you? What will you be doing today? What will I be doing? Probably beating up some dumb kid with a stupid name. <laughs> Tip three: Lend a helping hand. You've got a lot of cleaning to do, Clowny. You're that robot kid, right? Affirmative. Need a hand? An hour later. Oof, it's hot. Could I have one of those? Negative. Chocolate oils for robots. So- Constitution only. Rawr! Stupid bug! I did everything you said and nothing worked. You would? Why would you destroy a tome of knowledge, Professor? Huh? Who are you? I am but a humble scribe. I collect and chronicle all that happens in this cardboard king in the cardboard kingdom. Wait, that's me. Indeed, totally. I have heard whispers of your epic quest for friendship. How did you fare? Not good. Oh, I've never been good at that either. Hey, wanna come over and read some comics? One afternoon at the Dragon's Head Inn. Excuse me. My lady, is this your tavern? Huh? Dogs aren't allowed. Get yours out of here. What? He's not mine. We're just. I'm seeking information. Oh yeah, well, it'll cost you. That isn't a concern. I have left my kingdom to find someone. My captain of the guard. He hasn't reported for duty in in a few days, and well, I'm worried. Ooh, a missing captain. Did the sorceress ensnare him back with the him with a dark spell? Huh? Maybe he was hunting a giant beast, but the beast got him first. What now? Or he went on an epic journey to find tombs or forbidden knowledge. Stop! Be quiet! I command it. Seth wouldn't have gone anywhere without telling me. Wait, Seth? That's who you see? Yes, of course. Why do you? I have only heard rumors, but I believe his father has moved out. Yeah, his parents have been fighting. Oh, but how can a queen help with that? Speedy, speedy, speedy! Where are you? Yep. Where'd you go, boy? Seth. Are you okay? I've been so worried. My whole kingdom awaits your return. But you know when you're ready. The gargoyle. You can't keep showing up like this. The lawyer says, "I don't care what the lawyer says. Get out of here. You're, yours. You're not. This is still my house." Have you been sleeping, Seth? Mm-hmm. I know things have been confusing lately. Dad is so loud when he comes here, and then everyone upset. I know, honey. He's loud and he's scary. You shouldn't be worried. 
You shouldn't be worry, Seth. Make the worst of most of your summer. To go play with your friends. Mom, I don't. I'm tired. That night, crunch, crunch, crunch. Hey, Speedy, are you keeping a watch out for him too? The next morning, uh, what would you do, Night Falcon? Steph, did you take the blanket off the couch? Yes, I need it for justice. I vow from this day forward, all that I see is under the protection of the gargoyle. <clears throat> The gargoyle! Hey, get out of the trash, raccoon! Ooh, my frisbee! Want one, Speedy? Whoa, was that a bat? Hey, that's mine! I look scary, right? Ow! Brr. After staying up all night, you have to sleep, my darling. Even Night Falcon sleeps. Mom! Zzz. Crash! Get out, I told you. You've done enough. It was an accident. Sure it was. Fine, but I'll be back. I'll the, the gargoyle. God, what in Seth, is that you? It is. I, the gargoyle, what are you doing on the roof, Seth? I stand guard over this house. Do not attempt to enter, intruder. Huh, did your mom know you're up there? The gargoyle is on patrol. I defend the whole block from villains and monsters and, and all kinds of evil. Huh, are you getting your stuff or not? Uh, no, forget it. The Mad Scientist. Mwah! Let's experience. Who's first? Uh, me. So what can I do for you, Subject One? My first subject wanted different hair, so I replaced his whole head. But next, my next one didn't feel, didn't like her big feet, so I gave her new, I, so I gave her crazy new ones backwards, like the chi compiles in the back in the domain. Dominican Republic. You won't believe the other experiments I did today. There were cyborgs and mutants and there, Amanda. What, Dad? This is what you do all day? Changing your friends around? Well, they want me to fix them. All people are different for a reason, sweetheart. Changing them isn't helping them. They're just playing around, Michelle. It is important to me and Will. Amanda never be afraid to be different. Well, so I should help make my friends more different and awesome. Ha! Ah, I am sure you'll come up. You will come up with something. The next day, who's ready for some science? A broken arm? I fix it. I can fix. I can't fix it, but I have a cool idea. Have you heard of gallipots? My dad's told me all about them. They're shapeshifters. They can turn their arms into whatever they need. Now you can. And now you can too. Think that will work? Yeah. This is so cool. How do you say it? Gallop, Lily? Dad, look, I made him a gallopold. Even with the cast, he can still he. Dad, Amanda, have you been out here all day? What? Yeah, I've been really busy. I want to talk with you inside. But Dad, inside. What are you thinking? Why would you wear something like that? This is my lab gear, Dad. I don't understand. That thing, the mustache. What? This? It's just the neighbors. The neighbors, what will they say? What would they say back home? I don't, I was trying out friends, like you said. I said, no such thing. Take it off and go to your room. Honey, it's time for dinner. I don't want any, it's okay. Well, I'll save you a plate. For, when Amanda first showed me her costume, do you know what, mo, what she was most excited about? What? She looked just like you. Knock, knock. Amanda, honey, come in. Sweetheart, no Tina's Amber Toretta. No, I'm not hungry. I told you about many magic, many magical creatures. The gallop hits the, the TT boss, La Brunja. Yes, right. They are strange and different, Amanda. And at first they are scary. Yeah, I guess. Sometimes it is hard to expect, accept what you don't understand. So I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe to our channel. Bye!